Hey, welcome to the Champagne Room, home of CampingGearTV.com. My name is Josh. My name is Ben. And as always, we're looking for the best and the brightest in camping gear, apparel, backpacking stuff, and uh, we've got a good one today. Oh yeah, if you are looking for a pair of shoes for the outdoors, for camping and backpacking, looking for something that's too cool for school, I think we found it. Hmm. These are the uh, Montrail AT Plus GTX. Okay, Montrail, they make a lot of footwear for the outdoors. Yep. And uh, these things are supercharged to the max. Really, really high quality stuff. Some of the better pairs of shoes that I think we've taken a look at and seen. So what is it about them that makes them too cool for school? Well, there's, there's a couple things. Uh, comfort and construction are at a high level in this shoe. And uh, I don't think their price is anything absurd for the quality that you're getting. So we're going to take a look at some of these features that provide that and see uh, what the shoe is all about. So the AT Plus has, there's two models, they're just AT Plus regular and the GTX. The GTX stands for Gore-Tex, you know, oh, the material really? I think we're all familiar oh. with, you know. Gore-Tex has a lot of innovative technology that is able to make a real breathable material yet also be waterproof and, you know, so Montreal decided to use Gore-Tex in their shoe and you can take a garden hose to this thing and your foot's not getting wet. Obviously, if you're uh, up on top of the shoe and getting water down here, you know, yeah, water can seep through, you know, obviously the barrier between your foot and the shoe. But here at the front, um, honestly, you know, as long as you draw that line around there, nothing's getting in uh, any water whatsoever. Really, 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 yeah. really good waterproof shoe. Very so nice. the uh, the AT Plus, does the, the non-GTX model does not have the Gore-Tex in it. And it's, it's a little cheaper and it's a little lighter. So really it just depends on what type of activity you're looking for, if you're gonna encounter any water and what you're planning to do with it. If you are, the AT Plus is probably, or the AT Plus GTX, excuse me, is probably the way to go. And um, so, but either way, both shoes are, are basically made for, you know, the, you know, quick backpacker, it's a real aggressive shoe, a fast backpacker, someone who's really looking to cover a lot of distance real aggressively, really quickly. Uh, and there's yeah. some technologies in here that help this shoe cover dry and wet terrain with uh, right, you know, right, equal ability. So as you can see, the shoe the shoe's lightweight for a, a hiking boot, 15.3 ounces. I can see you've actually, you've been testing these. There's a rock stuck in this yeah, one. Yeah, I noticed I got a rock stuck in mine over here too. It's a low cut profile, so uh, I wouldn't be scared for ankle support or anything like that. The shoe is real right. sturdy, right. and uh, you're just, you're able to maneuver very quickly in these yep. shoes. Yeah, So, um, I, um, you know, I, I too have been trying these out. I've been wearing them for about a month now, I guess, and I've been, uh, you know, I haven't gotten out and done any serious hikes or backpacking with them, I'll just be honest. Um, I, I had them with me, I did some camping, but you know, I wasn't doing anything too strenuous. What I have been doing is I've been running in them actually, you know, a mile and a half, two miles a day, something like that, and they've been really comfortable. This, you know, this if, is, I, if I didn't know that it was made for hiking, you know, and you know, some of the stuff going on down here. If somebody told me that this was good for running, I'd believe them, right? It's comfortable. I think this shoe borderlines, Mon Montrail makes a lot of trail running shoes. Right. And I think that this shoe borderlines kind of the hiking trail running. You'll find this in the hiking category, uh, but I've also seen it sold by a lot of running stores too. So really? you know oh. you're 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 right on the on the edge there of uh, getting into the trail running department. Yeah. And so as you can you know you can see it's a it's a quicker shoe. It's a quicker boot to be moving in. I've used these a bunch. I'm pretty much taking them out every time I'm hiking now because they're so comfortable. I like them and durability is just at a, a really really high uh, high amount here. And they're very attractive. I like them. I think they're really super cool. So a uh, couple things, a couple features and benefits. Uh, up top, there's a nylon mesh upper tongue, I guess you will. Mm -hmm. Thermoplastic weld support over the bands that creates seamless support and lockdown over the foot. So you're getting a real tight seal and no water is really getting in there. 
Here's a synthetic leather rand coupled with high abrasion printed material. Oh, for support and protection. Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought? See this right here. So uh, yeah. it says a firmer 360 degree perimeter density surrounds a softer center for support, protection, and stability on the trail. And that's 100% absolutely correct. Again, the stability, even though you're talking about a, uh, a low cut profile, mm -hmm. you're still getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of protection around the ankle area. And there's, really I, I don't, important. I, yeah, I don't think it's, uh, it's definitely gonna protect you from uh, ankle twists and things like that. Very nice. And there's a uh, full length, if on, the, on the, the bottom of the shoe, if we take a look at it, you see a couple different textures there's a, uh, I got a close up here of this up now. It's a, there's a full length griptonite outsole. And uh, the griptonite is a uh, technology from Montrail, sticky rubber compound engineered for optimal performance with a combination of traction and durability, both on wet and dry surfaces. Like I said before, mm -hmm. can handle itself on mm -hmm. both, you know, both types of terrain. I liked how they did that play on words there, grip tonight. Yep. It's kind of like the Bat Cave, right? Superman. Oh. Josh. I thought it was like the Bat Cave. No, no. Grip, kryptonite is Superman. He lives, oh. in, he lives in an ice cave, which I oh. guess is also equally slippery. Oh. Get with the program, son. All right. So the grip tonight, uh, is, as you can see on the sole, there's a multi-purpose lug pattern for great traction on a variety of surfaces. Mm -hmm. You know, again, just showing the, you know, if you're on, uh, you know, yeah. broken, you know, if you're on uh, muddy trails, if you're on wet rock, the shoe really handles itself aggressively and, and is really, really, you know, a really, really quality sole. So the, oh, show. the MSRP on this is 135. That's what Montreal sells it for from their site uh you can kind of again look around a little bit and you can maybe you know 115 uh, i think it's an average price i was seeing a lot and uh for those of you that don't want the gore-tex version i think 90 dollars was what the regular at plus was nice i'd go I, with gore-tex yeah i would too i just i think it's silly you know to not get the the difference in weight although i don't have the other one written down what the what the regular one was uh, is was minimal Mm -hmm. And I, I just don't really honestly see a lot of reason why you wouldn't have a shoe that is at least this shoe and not have it be waterproof. Yeah. So, and it can definitely take a beating with the water. True that. So really, really, really super great shoe. Can't say enough to Montreal about how awesome this is. And we're glad that we could take a look at them. And uh, I think this is going to be a tough shoe to beat, you know, for uh, whatever we take a look at in the future. But uh, No, this, this definitely sets the bar nicely. And it's a... Uh, it's it's just a really well made shoe. Yeah. You know? Like I said, too cool for school. You'll be the envy of every party. I don't know how many chicks you could get in this shoe. An uncountable amount for sure. Yeah. You know, if you're looking for a pair of shoes, it's a chick magnet. Look this no, is it. Look no further. So as Dave Chappelle says, zip it up and zip it out. We are campinggeartv.com. Thank you for watching.